Hey everybody, welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. Uh, today we are going to be attempting something that's kind of ambitious. I've never done this sort of thing. I've never actually even launched anything to min Mist because when I was playing this game a lot more before, min Mist didn't even exist. So, um, this is going to be kind of something. Uh, I have taken two of the Keythane satellites and one ISA satellite, basically put it on my light rocket launch thing device and we're gonna try to get satellites into orbits of two bodies at once here well not at once but in one launch we're gonna try to send this satellite and this satellite to Minmus and then on the way back we'll drop off this uh, cathane satellite around the Mun now let's just check that uh, why is it because I changed the thing let's save that so that doesn't happen uh, actually, that's not right, because I need my four times symmetry here. I do indeed want those. Um, I added a section of RCS and a, an extra little bit of fuel there in hopes that that will help with the journey, but I'm not really sure. I'm trying to avoid doing asparagus staging on this one. I kind of feel like... The weight is getting decent enough that I might have to. Let's get rid of this, actually. Because I think the extra weight might offset how much value I get from the fuel, to be honest. And... That doesn't even seem to do anything, so we'll get rid of that, too. Lower this back down, because I like to have it kind of near the ground. I don't know why. It doesn't really matter, but... Alright, that all looks good. Let's go ahead and save that update. Get out to the launch pad. Now, one thing I've learned launching these ISA satellites is that it is extremely important. Let's get rid of this because we don't need that right now. It is extremely important to turn the map data off before you launch the satellite because it uses up actually quite a lot of CPU resources and stuff, and it's a lot better to just leave that off. We're gonna go ahead and turn on our ascent guidance. 120 looks good. We'll stop at stage one. Engage the autopilot. And I'm just checking my staging. Everything looks good. Let's go. Oh my god, something blew up. I think it was just a little launch bracketry stuff. Uh is this thing even using us? There is SAS on this, right? Yeah, there is. I don't see the little SAS logo there, so I'm just a little bit concerned. But anyway, um, you've seen the thing launch. I'll be back unless something terrible happens. I'll be back when we get to orbit. And so our apoapsis is rising here. Probably going to be cutting loose the uh, the main first stage here in, in a second. So we didn't quite achieve orbit with one stage, which is unfortunate. So now we're burning into our transfer fuel. That is not good. I did need a little bit more of a kick on that first stage, didn't I? Well, we're still going to try to see the mission through. This is all about learning about stuff. Like, I've never launched anything out to Minmus, so I would like to at least achieve Minmus orbit. If we don't get the other satellite to the Mun, well, that's okay. If we do, it's just gravy, though. Know? Closing in on. I probably. Why am I. I guess we have to do the burn anyway. It doesn't really matter. I was going to say, why am I even going into such a high orbit? But, I mean, we have to go even higher, so it makes sense. I don't think it really makes a difference what orbit we insert into here because we have to go all the way out to Minmus, so we'd be burning this fuel one way or another to get this altitude, so whatever. Alright, and done. So we're in about 40, yeah, 40 to do that. 40 units of the fuel, that's not encouraging. But it's, it's only going to take 30 seconds to burn the rest of the way into orbit, so. We'll still have over probably 380, I don't know, something like that. Maybe 390 left for fuel. So I guess that's a good thing. I guess so. This game's so pretty sometimes. I love those atmospheric effects and stuff. It's kind of funny because it's not exactly like the most graphically intense game, but it's just something about space stuff that's always cool looking. It's kind of funny, I was, I was worried about my electrical charge going in here, I was like, oh, I should probably turn the solar panel around, but nope, actually, don't even worry about it. All the batteries on those 
various satellites, that actually adds up to a ridiculous amount of electric charge that we have there. Now my philosophy in general with this stuff, I mean I could have built a bigger rocket that certainly would have been able to do this, but I kind of wanted to see what minimal kind of stuff is going to be required for this because I don't, you know, eventually money is going to matter and stuff. I want to get a good handle on the basics of how this stuff actually is going to work. It's a little more fun to just, you know, build something that can do what you actually are attempting to do. So we've achieved our orbit. Now as far as actually getting a min-miss encounter goes, I don't know the best way to do it. I assume it's going to be just like the moon, where we want to try to plot it so it's pretty much just rising when we do our burn. And it's going to be moving pretty slow out there because of its uh, distance, so I probably want to burn like somewhere around here here -ish. and I'm gonna do some tweet you know messing around here try to get an encounter going because I have to figure this out for the first time so I'll be back in a second All right, I got pretty much the minimus encounter that I want here I think um, we're gonna be coming in at 441 thousand meters that seems pretty good to me um, Let's just go ahead and see what is the estimated burn time on this. Three minutes? Eek. Well, I don't know if it's the most efficient, but we are going to execute it anyway. And see what happens. So, I'm a little bit nervous about this. Like I said, never been to Minmus. I would like to see it with my own eyes for the first time. And, uh,. I was really not sure what to expect. I don't know if a three minute burn is typical, three and a half minute burn is typical for this. And it takes almost, I guess, a pretty decent burn like that to get to the MUN. And it is a higher speed that we have to achieve. I'm a little worried about the retro burn to actually achieve my orbit. Wow, the frame rate got horrible there for a second. Oh, here we go. Bam! That is always awesome. I love the sunrises. Yeah, I don't know why the frame rate got so terrible there. I've been having like intermittent frame rate issues still. It's better than it was, but definitely still have some problems with that. This is a long one of the longer burns I've done in a while, I think. I haven't done any of those interplanetary burns, of course, either, so. I'm used to just going to the moon. This is of course, I don't usually use the Nerva engines either. Oh, great, it went up to four minute burn. Wonderful. Of course, yeah, like I said, I, I don't usually use the uh, the Nerva engines either, so. Now, it seems to me that this might not have been the most efficient way to do this. Because this is rising here, and our counter's happening way out. I don't know. I don't rightly know. We're going to be going by that thing pretty damn fast, too, there, aren't we? Yep, we're in Minmus Escape. We're going to be going hella fast. Of course, Minmus doesn't have a lot of gravity, so it doesn't take much to escape it, but I'm not sure this is the right way to do this. Darn. Well, we're going to, we're committed. We're going to do it. I should probably look some of this stuff up, but I like actually just learning this way. I learned better this way. This is like watching paint dry, watching this burn happen in the map especially, so I'll be back in a minute when it actually has completed. Now it seems to me like if we had gotten an encounter over there with the MUN, that that would have been a lot more efficient, so in the future I probably want to burn like, more like back here to get to the, I mean to Min Mist. it's not like the MUN is it? Because this seems like I'm going to be putting a lot of extra speed into this and a lot of extra fuel and our orbit crossed like way over there so I would have had an encounter but then we just been burning all this way to fix this so yeah yeah that's probably not the best probably should have done it like back here or so well I'll know that for the next trip that I make out to Midmus almost done with this excruciating burn. There's all kinds of wiggly lines coming up and things happening and I don't know what this green line's all about. But it's an odd thing. 
All right, burn completed. So we're at least gonna get our. So I'm at least gonna get my first up close and personal look at Minmus, which is pretty exciting. What is this telling me? I don't care about that. Let's get rid of that just for now. Time warp our way out here. I gotta be a little bit on the careful side with this time warp because I have been known to screw these things up. I wonder if we. I'm gonna take a second here. Can we see Minmus yet? It's kind of vaguely in. The, uh, that is that Minmus or is that the Mun? Looks kind of regular to be Minmus, but it would be hard to tell from this distance, probably. Nice and easy. This is going to be a relatively short encounter here, so I want to get my nodes set up and stuff pretty quick. We'll enjoy the view after that. Let's slow it down. Speed it up. Come on, Sphere of Influence. Let's see how bad the news is for this burn. Let's burn yonder-ish. Oh, this is like gonna take a billion years. Not encouraging. Not that encouraging at all. So we got a periapsis there, we got a... All right, that's a bad place to burn. Let's let's delete that. Let's just burn actually at the periapsis, like we're supposed to. Easy. All right. So, what is this? It's six hundred and something. Well, let's do like four forty. Sounds pretty good to me. Let's go ahead and. Plan our execute our maneuver. I said let's execute the maneuver. Sometimes you have to do it twice. I don't know why. But at any rate, let's see if we can get a look at this thing. Alright, where Where are you, Minmus? Minmus! I've never seen you for real. How terribly exciting. That's a pretty lengthy burn still. We are going to be real. I don't think there's any possible way I'm going to get that extra satellite into orbit of the, the Mun. I don't see that happening because I'm going to be going pretty darn... F I mean, it's not going to take much to escape orbit of uh, Minmus, but I, th I think it's going to take a lot to stop at the Mun again. And then to do all my maneuvers and stuff. We might just end up crashing this thing. I'm going to see how much fuel's left, but... I got a feeling I'm just going to end up crashing this thing into Minmus so that it doesn't fall into the wrong hands and create more space junk. We'll see. I'll just have to launch a single satellite mission. This probably was a little bit more than I was able to do at this point. I'm not the most experienced player with all this other stuff. But I am excited to have made it to Minmus. I guess I shouldn't, actually at the rate we're using fuel, I probably shouldn't count my uh, my chickens before they hatch, should I? <laughs> this is a three and a half minute burn still, man. I just built up so much darn speed, and you have to come to like a really low speed to get into orbit of Minmus, I know, because um, it just moves so you know slow and has so little gravity, it's way out here, so... Come to like a dead stop to get into an orbit almost at this distance out. Very concerning watching the fuel gauge and watching the timer down there. But Minmus is getting closer, which is kind of cool. The ugly little rock. Oh my god, not even halfway through the burn, and very little fuel left.
How is there still two minutes left? My god. Can you do it, little engine? Please tell me you can. It's a darn shame if this doesn't work. Should have gone with the asparagus staging. I would have had a little tiny bit more fuel with me. Well, you live and you learn. 90 seconds. At least this rocket uses an extremely low amount of fuel. What is the rate that it actually burns this stuff at? It is consuming at 0.69. So yeah, we have enough fuel to make the burn. I don't know if we're going to have enough fuel to do all the other maneuvers to get these satellites into proper orbits that I want to get them into, but we'll see. Maneuvering around Minimus should really take nothing. I could probably do a lot of these maneuvers just with the RCS, actually. Because we are literally, like, look at the speed. It's down to 400. Probably by the time we're done burning, it's going to be like 200 or less. At the rate, actually, it's dropping at an incredibly high rate. It's going to be less than 200. Ridiculous. built up so much speed leaving Kerbin. That was a bad call on my part. I mean, you kind of have to to escape the actual thing, but I knew I know I could have had that encounter at about halfway through that burn, two-thirds of the way through that burn instead of where I did. But we achieved our orbit, which is a pretty good thing. Just finish that up. So now we have a decent amount of fuel still remaining. So I think what we need to do is get into our polar orbit. Now I don't know, since Minimus orbits at a weird rate, like is there any way to tell what a 90 degree orbit will do to it? I'm, a little, I'm just wondering like, uh, where is the pole here? Is it off, off target here? I don't know. Uh, the doesn't even give me an ascending node and a descending node, does it? Well, let's just try that. Oh, well, looks like something. It definitely does look like something. And that's only an eight-second burn. Are you serious? We have no problem getting this stuff done. Well, let's execute that. That's encouraging. I, I didn't think it was going to take much fuel once we are we're out here. I am sure RCS would be more than enough to get this done. Actually, I am going to like screw around with my altitude with the RCS. I'm going to let. Mechjev do this, but we're going to try to fix our orbit a little bit using the RCS. I'd like to drop one of the satellites at 400,000, the ISA, and then 500 for the the, uh, the Cathane satellite. I don't really care so much about the Cathane on, on, on Minmus, just because it's such a small planet. There's probably not a whole lot anyway, but... We shall see. All right, now let's figure out where we need to do our stuff. So our apoapsis is at 607, um, 645. This is at 400. So we actually need to lower both. So let's go ahead and set a maneuver to do some of this. We'll call that good. And of course, I don't know, it's six, <laughs> we only have to do six meters, so that should be achievable. Let's get flipped around. I said, let's go, come on. 
thing takes a couple minutes to get moving, man. Really, it's going to take 15 hours to get to that part of our world. Holy... I think I want these satellites to be lower, actually, than that, because... The surface area... Well, I don't know. The surface area is really small. It's not going to take long to scan, but... It's going to take a long time to scan at these kind of speeds, man. You're giving me, like, wildly inaccurate little blue targety thingy here, game. Ridiculous. We were going 54 meters. My god. I think I actually do want to lower this then. Hmm. This changes everything, as Apple would say. Let's go ahead and actually slow down. Get down to like 200. Easy does it. It is so hard to make these fine adjustments with my mouse because I use a wireless uh, Logitech laser mouse thing. And I like the mouse, except it's not the best for playing games because it has this weird dead spot before it actually starts doing stuff. And it's kind of irritating. So let's go ahead and just time warp over to where we need to be, I suppose. I'm nervous about time warping too much. I guess it doesn't really matter. Actually, I could just have the warp helper help me. So let's have it do this say 90 seconds ahead of time just to make sure. Warp me there! It's one of my favorite mech jab features actually is this. It makes life so much simpler. I really do appreciate the warp helper a lot. Alright, so we are gonna use RCS, so the time that it's actually giving me is fairly meaningless for the burn. We need to burn with the N key, I believe. I think that's correct. So let's get perfectly squared up as much as we really can here. I, I, want, I would like to turn off the SAS, please. Are you really not listening to me now? Right now you're listening. Sometimes when you come out of a time warp, it still thinks you're time warping and won't let you do stuff. Alright, and I just need to barely tap this thing. And I'm not going to do... I'll do a little bit of time warping. I just don't want to go flying past the time that I need to do here. This doesn't have to be that precise, but it's good practice. I don't think NASA often says, ah, just get it close, you know. Oh yeah, I didn't turn on the RCS. Duh. Okay, that is the wrong way. Um, what is happening here? Why is it just going crazy? That didn't work at all. Why did it just go crazy? I'm trying to reverse and it's like, all, oh, because the SAS is screwing. Damn it! Damn you, SAS. And it was H that I needed anyway. Nice. Now, well, that, it's not going to be perfect. I should have thought of the SAS screwing me over as it is done so many times. Easy does it. Alright, we'll call that good enough, I suppose. And. How did that actually come out? We came out at 202, then that's not too bad. So let's add a node up yonder. Why did you do, what are you, what, what? What are you doing to me, game? Oh, because it still has this, everything's all screwy. All right, so, well, bam, new node. And we're at 400 on this, so we need to bring it in. That looks roughly circular. A little bit more. And... They're kind of freaking out, so that's when you know you're... Oh, then they switched. 
Damn it, I went right past it that time. These are really fine things we're doing here. So that should be pretty good. 206 versus 202. I would like to get it just a little better. 202, 201. Good enough. Good enough. So let's flop around. And hopefully, I'm going to leave the RCS on so it can actually stop this thing in a reasonable fashion. Actually, the RCS is enough to screw up our orbit here, isn't it? I just realized that I should not let it just randomly willy-nilly use the RCS because that is actually enough at these kind of speeds to seriously screw up our orbit. So that looks good. We will warp to the maneuver node again. I'm going to do a 60 second lead this time because that's more than enough. Wow, I have never seen it this close. I've seen videos of people at Minmus, but I've never personally seen it. It is ugly. Not the best looking planet I've ever seen. Well, it's a moon, but you know what I mean. So last time I had to hit H, so I assume I'm going to have to hit H again. I'm going to do my manual. Let's get my cursor out of that. That's not going to do any good. Manual time warp just a smidgen. SAS off and RCS on. Please stop drifting. Why would you do that to me, ship? Oh my lord. Alright, good enough. RCS off again. Let's check our handiwork. We got 202, 201. It came out about right. So I'm relatively pleased with that. Let's go ahead and get this rotation killed here, please. And we can launch the ISA satellite. Now this is going to make the ship horrifically unbalanced, I'm afraid. I'm pretty sure it's not going to be good news. I'm not, I'm not feeling it. The way that this thing's already handling is not great, so it's a small ship. Getting rid of that little weight at the top is probably going to not be the greatest thing. Now, how are we going to launch this safely? I think we'll pop one solar panel out so that the thing has power. And where's your decoupler? Godspeed, little satellite. It made it! It's clear and it's not dead. And it's in probably an okay orbit. I'm sure even the decoupler at this range probably screwed it up ever so slightly. Now, does it work? Let's go ahead and turn the mapping on. And look at that, we're getting some data. Where is... Is it, is it really not locking on because we're too... Are you kidding me? That satellite dish is supposed to lock on. It looks like it's filling in data, but the satellite dish isn't doing what it's supposed to do. Odd. Let's just do an orbit or two. And yeah, it's filling it in. I don't know why the dish isn't locking on, but whatever. It doesn't matter. That's cosmetic. So let's close that out. And we have more maneuvers to plan. So at our next... It doesn't really matter. We'll just do it at our next periapsis. See, look, look at what that decoupler did to that orbit there. That was just from the decoupler. Crazy. Let's go ahead and actually accelerate just a hair. Get this up to like 250. We'll put the other satellite in orbit. Easy. And easy. 
Gosh darn it. I say easy and then I just go willy nilly being all crazy. Alright, that ought to work out though. So, so long satellite. And let's go ahead and turn off our SAS for a second. Get our little warp helper out and do the same trick again here. Hopefully we won't crash into our satellite. I think it's on a different enough orbit already that we don't really need to worry about that. Why is there like a crazy graphical glitch going on there? Huh. Huh, huh, huh. So I'll have more than enough to crash into the moon, probably. <laughs> if I could get the right insertion going, maybe we could do something with it. Well, that was weird. That was odd. Let's get the... SAS back off. So we need to swing over the other way. Why? Where is my blue dot? I did not line up with my blue dot. I made a mistake, and I don't want to use RCS because we're gonna go like wildly crazy in an orbit here. Come on, man, pull up. I may not have given myself enough lead time for accounting for me screwing up terribly here. Oh man, come on, just... Minmus is a, is a challenge just because of that. Like, I, I, I did not really think that through the whole RCS being enough to totally screw you over here. I wonder if we could get back to the, the Mun just on RCS. That'd be kind of neat. Come on, swing it over, swing it over. Ah, oh, you bastard. Come on. All right, we'll call that good. We RCS on SAS off. Holy moly. All right, that's good. RCS back off, SAS back on. I think that's okay. And then we need to go back up to our apoapsis. Actually, we need to delete that so things aren't stupid. Go back to our apoapsis and do a little bit of a burn. Things flipped around. So we have 250, 253, 251, 254. So we actually want to go like roughly there. 252, 250. Ah. 252. 249. I'm going to call that good enough. I really don't care. At this point, that is perfectly acceptable. Where is my blue dot? Oh, yeah, the SAS is on. I was getting all irritated with it. Why isn't it moving? But it was pilot error again, leaving the SAS on. Another super teensy tiny little burn here, and we will be good with the other satellite. Easy, easy, does it? Come on, slow down. Well, I guess the the good and the bad thing is we keep losing mass as we're getting rid of satellites. I don't know if they use all the the torque and all the probes at once, or if this is actually making the ship handle better. I, I don't I don't know. That's good enough though. Let us yet again. This time we're doing a 30 second one. Warp, engage. Alrighty. I wish those graphical things would stop happening. Oh, there's Kerbin. Hey, Kerbin. Alright, this time, preemptively turn off 
Holy crap, why are you drifting already? Why are you drifting already? What are what is your problem? I don't get it. I don't get what I ever did to you, ship, that you were treating me this way. Like, there's no thrust on the imbalance in the weight really should not matter. Alright. Here we go. Alright, cool. We'll call that good, too. Let's just double check. Remove the node of annoyingness. So, I, did you remove the node of annoyingness? No, you didn't. So we got 249, 250, close enough. So, again, let us detach the next satellite then. I'm going to go into this view for this because it's going to be epic. Uh, we will deploy you and you. And again, the decoupler is probably going to screw up the orbit just ever so slightly, but we'll deal with that. Alright, nice. So, back to the other ship. What are we actually looking at here? All right, what are we actually looking at here? Let's close this for a second. And I'm going to take a moment and see how much thrust it's actually going to take to get to the MUN. And if it's not ridiculous, I will probably attempt to do it. But uh, I'll be back in a minute. All right, well, this looks like it's going to get me on a, a Minmus Escape. Well, it, it was going to get me on a Minmus Escape. Yeah, this should get me on a Minmus Escape. So I guess we'll try to do this. And just see what happens. I don't know. It's worth a shot. Hopefully I'll still have enough to crash this into something if uh, if it doesn't work. This, this tw 75 is uh, it's just relative to my target here, the 75 meters. So I'll be going like a lot faster than that probably in orbit of Kerbin. Because I'm just going to be in orbit of Kerbin once I leave this moon behind. Holy crap, slow down. Oh my god. SAS, please stop it. Ridiculous. Slow it down, man. It's in some really uncontrolled pitches here. Let's uh make sure we're controlling from the right probe. We were not controlling from the right probe. That's annoying. Come on, swing around. Alright, SAS is back off. RCS is on. And we are 20 seconds, so I'm probably going to burn 5 seconds before. This is a teensy tiny burn. But I'm just going to use the RCS again and see what happens here. So, it doesn't give me any estimates, obviously, because of the RCS. I probably could have started just a little bit earlier, but it doesn't need to be a precise maneuver. We just need to... Okay, it does need to be on target, though. That part does matter a little bit. Easy, come on. I'm having to hit so many keys in rapid succession. Succession keep this on target but we did our burn so we are gonna be just ejected from orbit now so let's wait for that to happen see what we can do out here alright so now that we're out here what what can I possibly do? Is the 
question. The moon is way over there. I don't see having enough fuel. Okay, we definitely want to slow down. This is not a huge maneuver. This is not a huge maneuver at all, actually. We can line up our money counter right. This is probably actually doable. So I'm going to screw around with this a little bit, get this lined up. All right, well, we're going to try to do this and see what happens. Uh, it's, a, it's not a huge amount of fuel that this is going to require. So I'm going to attempt to do this and I guess hope for the best. Um, I should probably just, once we get faced towards this, just tap the, well I'm sure it knows how long it actually needs to be for the burn I don't know if it does or doesn't I'm gonna still tap this thing just real quick once it, it it's not telling me but I assume the rocket will know what to do <laughs> uh, so that puts us at like 414 that's not too terrible I'm feeling pretty good about this mission, even if I don't succeed in getting this other probe into the orbit of, uh... Oh man, did it really just use up all my RC? Ah, that was dumb. That was so dumb of me. Oh wait, it used up my RCS doing the maneuver, didn't it? Did you really just cancel the maneuver? Well, that's kind of neat that it will use the RCS if that was the last thing he used, I guess, to do a maneuver. That's actually fairly nifty. But that kind of screwed up my maneuver, too, didn't it? A, a tiny bit, but that could be costly. But let us go and warp over to the moon and say, see what we can get set up here. We can at least crash into it. I'm pretty confident in that. Is it trying to maneuver still? It is still trying to maneuver. Why are you still trying to maneuver? You're going to make it worse, probably. Oh, maybe it fixed Yeah, it fixed it. That was a super tiny burn. I didn't think that was going to work. Anywho, let us warp to the sphere of insight. Are you still not done? You're done now. I, I want to... You don't have to be a perfectionist here, Mech Jeb. To the moon! Wow, this is a bit of a journey here <laughs> at the speeds we're going all right so we kind of came in over the pole here didn't we how nice is that that's pretty darn close to something where's the stupid maneuver node that's screwing everything up why are these not deleting i guess it's not technically completing them um Well, let's see if you can circular. How much fuel is it going to take to do this? Let's just say at next periapsis. That's actually very doable. Do it. Do it. I'm excited. I think this might work out. I wish I hadn't used up all my RCS fuel accidentally, but I did. I definitely did. What are you doing now? Please execute. Yeah, I had to press it twice again. Very strange. Very, very strange indeed. How close to 90 degrees? Is that, that's not going to be that close to 90 degrees. It will still probably get the job done. I'm going to evaluate how much fuel I have when this is actually completed because it may actually be close enough to 90 degrees to get the job done. We just ditch the satellite and uh, call that good possibly, but 22 second burn, that's probably going to... Uh, we should still have a decent amount of fuel, I think. I thought this mission was going to be a, a bust, but I think I might have pulled it off. I think. I shouldn't say that, though. It's not pulled off yet. There are just so many crazy lines going on here. Yeah, 
And I, I reconfigured things to come pretty close to a polar orbit to try to save fuel, and I worked out better than I thought. We're gonna have tons of fuel to do this. It's not even gonna be an issue. It's not even gonna be a problem. It's a little bit of a problem that the rocket gets all askew like that, but I'm gonna let it finish its, its work here as best it can. It's probably not gonna be perfect because of the the imbalance in the rocket and the last of lack of RCS fuel. Let's just abort that because you're you're chasing perfection there. You don't need it. So let's go for. Change the inclination to 90 degrees, remove all nodes, go 9 second burn, and we will do that. Let's remove that node and redo it, actually we'll do it there. 4 second burn, we got this! Assuming it can fly the ship straight enough, we got this. I'm going to turn off the RCS button so it doesn't think it has RCS available to it. still have like more than enough fuel I hope to deorbit this what is our final orbit gonna end up being that ought to work out just fine I just want the the inclination change and I think we're gonna call that good I'm not gonna push my luck especially with the rocket being so imbalanced I'm, I'm just gonna call this good I think I, I had no thought that that was going to work out. I had to go rename my satellites too. I always try to name them something so I know what they actually are. Alright. I'm just going to watch the... Oh, look how pretty that is too. Always with the screenshots. I got to do it. So this is the more important Cathane satellite anyway, because the moon is going to be my main base of operations for this stuff. Man, that thing drifts bad. Let's abort that, because it seems like if we do anything longer than that, it just goes crazy. That's not too terrible. Let's remove the node, go to the next descending node, and it's going to have to do like the inciest little... Actually, it's calling it good, so call that good. Can I change my apoapsis and my... Will you, will you do that? Hmm. Well, I think we'll just release the satellite and call it good deorbit this thing. So... Face off towards where we need to actually face. Not that it matters as much on the in the orbit of the Mun, but the decoupler does have a force to it. Right, and lock it off. Let's get the panel out. And I never deployed those community. I'll just do that on my own time. They don't do anything anyway. It really doesn't matter, but. I didn't set up action groups for this because it was too complicated with all the different satellites and whatnot. And mission accomplished. That feels good, man. That feels good. So let's swing this bad boy around again and see if we can't send it down to the surface. I really hope I can. I, it should be able to with the fuel I got left. That's why I didn't want to make any more orbital adjustments, because I, I should be good. Fingers crossed. Start slowing down here so it doesn't go tumbling out of control like it likes to do. And this orbit's regular enough that I'm not going to worry too much about going to the apoapsis to do this, I don't think. Slow down though, holy god. I'm gonna do that time warp trip the trick that I don't like to do. I said, calm down. 
Jeez Louise, man. Pro bodies are annoying to use because of that. All right, we're gonna call that good. And let's go ahead and try to deorbit it. Yay! Let's just burn all the fuel, why not? They actually had quite a bit of fuel to spare on that one. We're not even gonna burn it all. I'm just gonna go straight down. As straight as it will go. Cool. Let's let's actually watch it crash because it's fun. Oh man. I slow it. Well, actually, I don't want to slow it down that much. But I would like to actually see the thing impact, not just screw up in the warp. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Next time, I think we will go ahead and work on getting a man over here. Hopefully, that won't happen when he comes here, but we're going to try to get a Kerbin on the moon. So, uh, thanks again for watching, guys. Catch you next time.